Welcome back everyone. No rain currently falling in Fargo. We're looking off to the east towards Moorhead, but more rain still is lifting in for this evening, so might not be quite done quite yet. The whole area of rain continues to spread to the north and east through the rest of this afternoon and into tonight. This weekend, some good news. We're turning drier, temperatures warming back up, and most areas are going to see some sunshine. Next week, temperatures still looking warmer, and we do have several more chances for rain and possibility of some thunderstorms one of those days as well. So right now here in Fargo, we're a cool 54 degrees, overcast skies, wind gusty as well. Out of the southeast, gusting to 24 miles per hour. Moorhead currently 52 degrees. 52 in Grand Forks as well. East southeasterly breeze at 14 miles per hour. Now temperatures around the valley have only been in the 40s and 50s as expected. We're at 48 in Langdon, 46 Devils Lake, 49 Park Rapids, 53 in Thief River, 50 in Detroit Lakes. Let's take a look at that satellite and radar. Mostly dry at this time through Lakes Country. Fargo is dry as well, but here's that next batch of rain I was talking about that's lifting in from the south and west. This whole area of rain is lifting to the north and east. So we're going to continue to see some moderate to heavy rainfall across eastern North Dakota for a couple more hours until it starts to really lift up. Here's a few rainfall reports so far over the last 24 hours, courtesy of the North Dakota Agricultural Weather Network. More than an inch and, uh, excuse me, a little more than an inch and a tenth in Carrington and Jamestown, just under that in McHenry and Courtney, uh, Michigan coming in at 93 hundredths. Grand Forks, 33 hundreds and 15 hundreds at Fargo NDSU on the north end of town. So here's what we're expecting for the rest of our evening in your first alert forecast continuing to lift to the north and east. So Southern Valley Lakes Country still expecting more rain through the next couple of hours. Don't pack the umbrella away quite yet. Heading to bed this evening, rain still continuing across the far north and it lingers a bit into the pre dawn hours. But most of us going to be dry and clearer in terms of cloud cover when we wake up tomorrow morning. Temperatures 30s and 40s. It is going to be breezy through tomorrow, though. Winds out of the west and southwest. A few more clouds build back in in the afternoon, and we can't rule out a few rumbles of thunder along the North Dakota, South Dakota, excuse me, North Dakota Canadian border, and a few more quick passing showers in our far southeastern most counties. But many of us are going to be dry for tomorrow. Here's a look at additional rainfall potential through noon tomorrow. Most of it going to be in the northern valley in northern Minnesota, half an inch to an inch possible. Temperatures tomorrow afternoon still a bit below seasonally average in the 50s for most areas. For the weekend, though, I promise that warm up. Look at Sunday, 71 degrees, mostly sunny and warmer. Lots of folks training for the Fargo Marathon. Russ, I'm looking at you back there at the Weather Center. This weekend is going to be good for uh, getting outdoors and either running or just enjoying the fresh air. Our next chance of rain and possibility of thunderstorms comes on Monday. A few showers linger into Tuesday. Another chance of showers on Wednesday. But heading into Mother's Day looks pretty good for next weekend. Yeah, it definitely is. Summer, thank you so much.